the Newcastle Arms Poisoner. Gainsborough's Newcastle Arms was named after a royalist general who fought in the Civil War. This pub was opened to the public in 1838. In 1859 Newcastle Arms was rented out, inside there were 12 rooms in total, one room was named the Sots Hall, Newcastle Arms was known to be a place for Gainsborough's heaviest drinkers. There was a well-known man around the Gainsborough area, known as Thomas Morley, who made his money by gambling professionally after moving from Hull, where he used to work as an apprentice in the grocery business. Thomas may have made an enemy due to his gambling habits, his nemesis Alexander Morgan is known to have killed Thomas. What made this case puzzling is, Thomas was killed by poison in Newcastle Arms, which used to be situated on Gainsborough's Casket Gate Street. When it came to questioning people that were in the pub at the time of the poisoning, all witnesses stated that no one's demeanour had changed that evening when the poisoning happened. When it came to questioning Alexander, he told the authorities an elaborate story that had many twists and turns, immediately Alexander became a key suspect. The night Thomas died, he entered Newcastle Arms with Alexander and a female known as Mrs. Booth. The men were apparently still sober when Mrs. Booth left the pub, Alexander gave Thomas some white powder, which caused Thomas to have stomach cramps before the convulsions started. Alexander said that he would get help but never returned, which was confirmed by William Brown who was Newcastle Arms landlord at the time. So a man named Robert Broadbury found a doctor Mr. Mevan, for Thomas who was given an antidote for the poison, but it was too late, with rigid marks on Thomas's body. White powder was also found on the bar. Mr. Mevan knew that Thomas died of strychnine. Alexander was arrested for murder a few days later, and was sent to Lincoln Prison to await his trial. The first hearing, it was found that the strychnine was bought from a druggist named Colette, who was told it was to kill a couple of dogs. Before Colette agreed to hand the strychnine over, she stopped a passerby who knew Alexander to sign a statement before administrating 10 grains, which was a larger amount than what would normally be used, the reason for this to account for wastage. Thomas not only gambled but he lent money out, Alexander had to find a way to get rid of the debt but had no money to do so. After the court case, Alexander barely avoided the noose instead was given a long-term prison sentence.